Yay Networks. At the end of the day, my partner is glad to see me. We are together all day, yeah. but yes, I'm... Did you say no? I said yeah. Oh, I thought you said no. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Hello. To Junkyard Mayhem. Hello, Hannah. Hi, Shane. Hello, wife. I wasn't saying hi to you. I was saying hi to everyone listening. It's almost our three-year wedding anniversary. Yeah, it is. Aww. What day is the anniversary, Shane? September 4th. Wow. That's because I told you what it was like three days ago. I'm Couple glad you remembered. <laughs> well, we have the date that we got like for real private married in our backyard. Yes. We have the date that we had our family reception, reception which yeah. is like a year later. Yeah. Two years? One year later? I can't remember. One year later. One year later. We have a, a few other. We have the day that I asked you to marry me. We have the day I asked you to be my girlfriend. We have the day we met. The day originally. we met. There's just a lot of days you remember. A lot of days. But I remember September 4th. But you're doing it. As we are... Thinking about our anniversary, We've which been, which we're doing uh, a lot, <laughs> <laughs> days and days of thinking, just almost endless, uh, pondering, yeah, of our anniversary. No, we thought we'd do a little episode of, like where we take some marriage quizzes, yeah, and see if we fight about it, yeah, see if we agree. So we have three quizzes, yes, we do to test our love, our commitment. Our everlasting ability to remain together. Okay. Well, the first one isn't so much a quiz as like a who's better at. I guess that's a quiz. <laughs> you were like, well, actually, everything she just said, no. Well, yeah, kind of <laughs> no. Uh, the first one we're going to do is a like who blank, you know. So the first question on this quiz. It's kind of like a game that you would play at a wedding. Yeah. You know? I, yeah, that it is exactly like that shoe game or whatever that yeah. I told you about. Yeah. So let's just jump right into this first one. Who tells the best jokes? Mm, Shane. Me, probably. Yeah, you do. But you're so funny. Thank you. I, I occasionally just, nail it. I think I'd try harder. Yeah, you, you put more out there. And you, yeah. so you, but you are so funnier. by the law of averages. I just, <laughs> No, you're definitely funnier. That's that's your main Aww. characteristic. Also, we're going to try really hard to go through yeah. all of these rapidly. Wait, let's not give context. Let's just Some keep going. There, I mean, otherwise it's going to be a boring episode. That's true. Okay. Who is a movie, like more of a movie freak? A movie freak? Yeah. Me. Who's all you want to watch is Dance Moms and Love Island and Love is Blind. Oh my, what? And I the, don't even like Love is Blind. Well, you used to. I didn't even watch the last two seasons. I don't even know what you're talking now about. Now who's the I one? I am not more into reality TV than I am into like fiction TV. Now who's the one giving context? Oh my, but I'm just, you're you're telling blatant lies about me. No, I'm not. That I want to watch for Love past, Island all the time? For the past three weeks, we've been watching Dance Moms. But you're into Dance Moms. I am into it. But so when I heck? say, hey, maybe you want to like take the night off, watch a movie, you hiss and growl at I, me. Okay, no. It's not that I like Dance Moms more than a movie. It's not that I like Dance Moms more than a different... Like, I loved The Last of Us. That's not Dance Moms, okay? Yep, not a movie. And if you had said, stop and watch a movie during The Last of Us, I would have hissed at you then too. Because I do not like interrupting my TV show that I look forward to all day long. I get very into my shows. I do not want to take a break for one night and watch a movie. So you can, once we finish Dance Moms, then you can say... Can we please watch some movies for a couple nights? And I will be like, I would love to do that with you. I'm just happy that you run along with my joke that you hiss at me <laughs> to disagree. That wasn't my problem. That wasn't my problem. Okay. <laughs> Who is more romantic? Me. Yeah, I think. I think you probably. Yeah. Not by much, though. No, we're both not very romantic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, who's more talkative? Me. Ooh, yeah, you. But me. Yeah. It with within like us, yeah. She's I think got such a blabber mouth. Okay, who's more thoughtful? Oh jeez, does that mean like like thoughtful as in like I I bring you a gift or like I remember your birthday like that type of thoughtful or no. like I spend time thinking? No, no, yeah, like <laughs> thoughtful, like doing you know like doing like things kind, for the other person, yeah. kind like yeah, things to do like things for whatever. We're pretty even. I think we are. Yeah. I think we are. 
like for birthdays and stuff, I don't think either of us is like way more thoughtful than the other. And yeah, no. In day to day life, like randomly, I'll have your mom help me do a cute little like surprise for you. Yeah. And randomly, you'll do cute little surprises yeah. for me. We should do that more. <laughs> you want more? This surprise? is my request for more <laughs> you surprises. Want more surprises. <laughs> uh, who eats more food? You. Yeah, of course, me. Because you wait three times, but uh -huh. I, I know it's just a matter of the physics or whatever that is. <laughs> Uh, who's the better cook? You. Well, I mean. Physically, me. In reality, I can't. Intellectually, <laughs> you. Like if if both of us had like a pair of hands, like an assistant who was doing Excuse the cooking. Excuse me, I have a pair of hands. No, if we both were using an assistant <laughs> I know. and we were the ones directing, uh -huh. like you would be better. So that means you're a better cook. I think that goes for most things in life. My freaking God. <laughs> who is more jealous? Oh, I have a jealous vein. I do too, that though. Runs I think deep. we're both yeah. equally jealous and too jealous. <laughs> Although, like if other people, like if other people's, like if I see a Instagram post about someone that won a million dollars, I'll be more jealous. You'll be more jealous about that than I yeah, will. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I think the other day, I can't remember the context, but you said to me, you don't care about anything. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember what I wanted. I was caring about something, and you were like, meh. I think it was about something about our car, and you just have no opinion about anything. Uh, that's, yeah, I have opinions. Yeah, so I'm just more of everything. I'm very done with the flow. And until it's something that, like, runs my gear, and then it's suddenly yeah, I can be but it's very... rare. I'm much more easily... Jealous. Elevated in emotion. Yeah. Yep. Okay, uh, who's more annoying? Definitely you. me, by far. <laughs> yeah. So annoying. I don't know how you deal with me day in and day out. You pester. Like, you love to pester. I pester. I push <laughs> buttons Yeah. in, in like, fun-loving ways and also in fights. Yeah. Like, I am annoying. <laughs> and I, I derive joy out of annoying you. But most of the time, I like, it's fine. I like your personality. Mm -hmm. Occasionally in a Thank fight. Thank you for saying that you like my I like your personality. personality. I'm fine with the annoyingness. I find it funny and charming and whatever until it's in a fight. And then I'm like, you are the worst person. My wife likes my personality. I like, yeah, I like you. Who will apologize first? Me, always. Yeah. 100%. Maybe 99%. No, yeah, occasionally I'll come into the room. I might not apologize, but I will try to end the fight by being like, would you like to apologize? Yeah, by offering me the opportunity to apologize. And if you don't take it, then that is like a world shattering. Yeah, shattering. Now the fight is days long if you will not apologize. Yeah. So yeah, that's not good. It's fun. It's really fun, everyone. Who said I love you first? Or wait, no, maybe. Well, yeah, just said I love you first. I thought maybe it was like, who's more likely to say it? But I think it's just, who did? It was me. It was you. Yeah. Okay, moving on. That's it. Oh, wait, you missed one. I did miss one. I missed one. Uh, who is more likely to pump the gas? Me. 100% me. No, I think I won. I think I had more of these than you. So I've never pumped gas. No, you have. You've never done a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, <laughs> we're going to take a trip break. And then we'll be back for our next <laughs> quiz. Quiz number two. Oh, boy. Let's see if we can make Shane try on this one. <laughs> I don't often sit anywhere other than my wheelchair because I am never comfortable anywhere else. But our new couch from Article has me desiring to be out of my chair more than ever before. That's true. If you're in the market for new furniture, a couch, a table, whatever you're looking for, do we have a recommendation <laughs> for you? Aside from the quality and comfort of our new couch, I think Article's customer service is really what sets them way above their competitors. When you have a piece of furniture delivered, you have the option to have them come in and set it all up for you. That is so convenient. And on the day that it's being delivered, you can track where your shipment is so that you can be there at the right time. Yeah, the shipping is fast and affordable all across the U.S. and Canada, and you can pick the delivery time, and those updates really help you plan your day. You're not waiting for like a giant eight-hour window I for your that. stuff to be delivered. Because of Article's online-only model, their prices are incredible, and their designers are all about finding the perfect balance between style, quality, and price. 
They have some amazing options with mid-century modern, coastal, industrial, Scandinavian, and boho designs. I would like to make our home more Scandinavian. I know. So I'm going to be doing some article shopping today. Okay. Hope you're ready. Article is offering our listeners $50 off your first purchase of $100 or more. To claim, visit article.com slash junkyard and the discount will be automatically applied at checkout. That's article.com slash junkyard for $50 off your first purchase of $100 or more. Okay, we are back with quiz number two. And this one that Shane found is from marriage.com. So that sounds official. Sounds trustworthy. It sounds so trustworthy. I'm going to click start quiz. Imagine like in the early days, sorry, in the early days of the internet, yeah. like stooping up those juicy URLs. Marriage.com. I know. You know? Yep. Like whoever first got football.com. I know. Like they probably made bank. Yep. Someday. That was a good move. I don't have to transition my career into Stupid up URLs that will one day. I tell me to imagine future movies and events. Yep, that'll be great. Good luck. Uh, I'd like separate bank accounts, please, before <laughs> you take that venture. All right, here's the first. This is like a, this is a how good is your marriage type quiz, I think. Oh, boy. Because these are different kinds of questions than we just did. Question number one. Are when- you faking your marriage for a YouTube channel? <laughs> Shane. When was the last time you or your spouse exchanged I love you? Oh. Today? Well, it's, it's oh, really. There's options? Yes. Oh. Today, a few hours ago, a few days ago, or a few months ago. Oh, no. I th- <laughs> I think it was a few days ago. Oh, well, I think Normally it was, we say I love you. Like I think it was yesterday. Was it? But there's not an option for yesterday. It's either today or a few hours ago. Which one's oh. better, today or a few hours ago? Well, no, but I don't remember saying it yesterday. I did say Oh, my God. Oh, I just yeah, smashed my, my head into the microphone. I'm so sorry. We definitely said it yesterday. Did we? Yes. Oh, okay. I don't remember. I say it so often. Anyway, yeah, it's an everyday thing usually. Should I say a few days ago for, ye- like, yesterday? Oh, you have to actually, like, fill out? I have out? to select, yeah. Okay, yeah. A few days ago. A few days ago. Oh, I, my God. This is, the results are going to be like, your marriage is bad. Yeah, what the heck? When was the last time you had a date night or any romantic e- or any romantic evening with just the two of you? That's Options a- are we had one this week, last week, a few weeks ago, at least a month ago. This week, yeah, this week. We have like date nights every once a week at least. Yeah. How often do you talk to each other candidly? <laughs> Does this count? It is right now. Every day, often, sometimes, or rarely. We talk every day. <laughs> Can you imagine some innocent person going on this website because they're a little bit worried about their marriage? Yeah. And then they're like, how often do you talk to... Rarely. Rarely. I don't even know... When, I don't know what that even means. That would be like if you... Don't speak a lot. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so every day. What do you and your spouse usually talk about? <laughs> Anything and everything. Duties and responsibilities. Money. Whatever is needed to be talked about. Anything and everything. Anything and everything. Uh, lately, it's been a lot about aliens. <laughs> <laughs> Shane's new passion project. During a fight with your spouse, what do, you, what do you usually do? Try to be reasonable and think about it from their perspective. Stay calm and tell them why I'm angry slash sad. Get angry and shout at them or <laughs> ignore them. I think B. We both try to explain yeah. where we're coming from and how we're feeling. Yeah, I agree. What was A? Try to be reasonable and think about it from their perspective. Yeah, we sometimes throw reasonableness out the window yeah. a little bit. I don't think I'm trying to think about it from your perspective when we're fighting. No, well, we, yeah, we do. But it's like, yeah, I know why you feel that way, but this is why yeah, I feel this exactly, way. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. All right, your anniversary is coming up. They're right, Shane. Oh, wait, really? What are your plans? It just <laughs> happens to be correct. A romantic night at a nice restaurant and then anniversary sex at home. Boom. A cozy romantic night at home opening gifts from one another. <laughs> These all seem equally nice. Date night at the cinema. <laughs> like, okay. okay, that's nice. A regular night at home. Gifts are optional. I hate to say that it's just like, I mean, mm-hmm. gifts are not necessary. Like, we don't usually do anniversary no, gifts. No, anniversary gifts we haven't really been doing. We'll do a nice dinner. Uh-huh. 
Well, we would probably, what if we did a movie first? Well, I think what we would probably actually do when we do this is we're going to go to dinner and then we're going to talk about should we do something else after? Yeah. And then we'll say, no, let's go home and watch TV. Like a cozy romantic night at home opening gifts from one another is nice. Mm-hmm. But I don't want to say not romantic night at a night. Like these just are so strange. They don't. One doesn't seem better than, to me. Is there one that's just like 24 hours of sex? I'm picking the nice restaurant yeah. because we will go out to dinner. But I do She's, like a nice night. You hear that, everyone? We will go out to dinner. Yeah, Shane, start thinking about it now. Although, actually, we probably won't on the date because I don't think we're going to be... Yeah, that we'll be driving We're going to be on a, on a trip. Yeah. So, the next day. How do you feel when you see your spouse loved, <laughs> happy? Like, why is one of these better? Rage. Normal or nervous? Normal or nervous? I feel pretty nervous when I, I see feel happy, loved or ha- like which one's better, loved or happy. I feel normal or happy. <gasps> what you don't normal feel is loved? good? Oh my I god, feel normal loved. is not good. <laughs> normal is very good. I like my life. Yeah, I feel normal when I see you. Too. I don't. It's not like we've been married for three. I'm years. gonna say happy because when what you if walked I, into the room, I'm not like I shame. am loved. If I worked out of the home every day and then I came home, you would be uh-huh. happy to see me. Yes, I you're know. only saying normal because I only ever leave the room for like thirty seconds. <laughs> when you return, I feel very normal. Okay, happy. I'm going with happy. Uh, but I didn't select loved, so we're not going to get a, a good score on no, this. No, they're going to advise that we break up. How often do you confide in your spouse? Often, sometimes, rarely, or never? Well, you are the only person I really confide to. I'm going to say often. We do talk a lot. <laughs> oh, my God. How would you describe your intimacy? Ooh. Okay, here's the options. Are you ready? Rage filled. Are you ready? <laughs> Normal. Every question that you want to answer is just rage. Okay. Fantastic. Wait till you hear these options. Rare, but still great. Like these are so niche. And then the other two options are average or dull. So fantastic, rare, but still great, which seems like a really strange option to me. Average or dull. I would say fantastic. Yeah. Like I'm happy with it. You You don't think it's rare, but still great. But I also don't think we're much different than average. You know what I mean? I know. Like our intimacy True. is pretty normal. I don't think it's like. Yeah, so, but I'm selecting that fantastic because I don't want to yeah. say average. Because are I, you worried about the results? This I'm quiz not is at all. skewed. <laughs> Whatever this tells Rare, us. Rare but still great <laughs> is above average on this ranking, uh-huh. which is odd to me. Yeah. Like why? Why wouldn't you just say great? I wonder if it means rare as in like once a week. Like, when I hear that, I think of, like, once a year. Yeah, me too. But maybe they mean more frequent then. This marriage.com is a sham. When away, do you miss your partner and want to be with them soon? Yes. Yes, most of the times, sometimes, or honestly, I like my space. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. I miss you and I'm away. On a busy day, how often do you think about them? This doesn't work when we're together. Yeah, we're thinking about each other all the time. We're always together. A few times during the day. Are we too close? When I come across something that reminds me of them once or twice, or I barely think of them when I am busy. (laughs) No, all the time. A few times during the day, yeah. We just spend all the time together by choice. Yeah. But is it possible to be too? Yes, some people would say that that is not a good thing. But it's not really... Guys, are we, like, out of ourselves? I know. Are we too in love? It's fine. What's that? Is it codependency? Is that what that is? Yeah, codependency is... But that's different than just, like, too close. Mm. You can just be, like, very... I don't think that we have, like, a pathological issue. We're just, issue. like, cringy. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. Have you ever had the urge to cheat on your partner? Oh, my God. Not at all. <laughs> no. The, like, what are these answers? Not at all and no are the same no, thing. No, no, no. No is ranked below not at all. <laughs> yeah, for what? <laughs> not at all. No. Once maybe. Once maybe I had an urge. Or yes. <laughs> I will say, when we were watching Lost, and eventually Lily was mm-hmm. frequenting the screen. The star of Lost, yes, I'm aware. I may have gone down from not at all <laughs> to just a no. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to hit no. That's so funny. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? 
I hate this question. With my partner living the best life. (laughs) Then one down. Traveling with my partner. So that's less good than just with my partner. You don't know that these are ranked by... They are all ranked. I mean, all the ones that are like, do you cheat, are all ranked. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Thriving in my career. Or I would like to live independently by then. (laughs) (laughs) If that's your answer, that's a sign. I'm going to uh, say living my I best life. I agree with A, B, and C. Yeah. Literally. But okay. I'm going to say living right. my best life sounds like it's all-encompassing. So yeah. I'm going to go with that. How often do you feel upset with your partner? Almost never. Very rarely. <laughs> like what? Sometimes or very often. I feel like they're really off on like... Sometimes. Giving... Sometimes? Well, this is what I'm how about how often do you feel upset with your partner? Almost never. Very rarely. Okay. Very rarely. No, we can do sometimes. The difference between sometimes and very rarely. It's too big. Yeah. The I would just are... like not often or like <laughs> but that's occasionally. All right. I'll sometimes do sometimes. Sometimes not often. They're the same thing in my head. Okay. Are these our results? Yes. Here's our results. Everyone. Our headline is maybe you and spouse are a little bit romantic. Oh, <laughs> what? Ready? This is the paragraph. You and your spouse seem to be a little bit romantic together. You both likely lead busy lives, but still manage to keep the romance alive. Try to be a bit more committed while trying to be romantic and plan things like weekly date nights or going to events together. All it takes is a little effort. Also, here are five ways to rekindle (laughs) romance in your marriage. Purchase the marriage.com. It's a link. Yeah. (laughs) They didn't die. Oh my god! Like, all it takes is a little effort. Is so rude and passive aggressive. I feel I feel <laughs> like one of the editors for Marriage.com was being pestered by their children to allow them to make a marriage quiz. Yeah. So they let their children make a quiz. I agree. And that, that was felt the result. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. I do not agree <laughs> with the results. <laughs> I think yeah. that we are Should very we? in love. I mean, they're right. We're not like overly romantic. Yeah, but I think that they meant that to be like in a good relationship. Like you are a little bit happy. <laughs> you know, the way it was written was not. Your relationship is ambiguous. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe try a little harder. Do you think we should take it again? Try to get a better. No. Oh my God, no. <laughs> <I'm> kidding. <laughs> kidding. <laughs> okay. See everyone, there's that humor. Let's take. <laughs> Let's take a break. And then we'll be back with our third quiz, which is from the Gottman Institute. So I do feel like maybe this will be a little bit better. Yeah, I already peeked at it. It's not going to be. All right. Wait, wait, we'll be right back. Third and final quiz. Yes. If at the end of this, you are all not 100% sure that Hannah and I are in a thriving, Mm. (laughs) top-tier marriage then what? Maybe we have some work to do. Maybe we maybe we have a little bit of more effort to put in. Maybe we need to dig deep. Okay. All right. This is how well do you know your partner? Part one, your knowledge about your partner. Oh, boy. That seems repetitive. Okay. Number one, this is just yes or no questions. Okay. okay. I can name my partner's best friends. Yes. Yes. No. Did you have friends? <laughs> You're so rude. <laughs> I know what stresses my partner is currently facing. Yes. <laughs> yes. Why are you giggling? Just like on our dog walk this morning. That's all we talked about? The only topic was what you stressed us. I know. I can tell you some of my partner's life dreams. Yes. Yes. That's, why would I? But oh, yes. This is easy. We are telling it. I can tell you about my partner's basic philosophy of life. Oh. Yes. Yeah. What is mine? I just, I can tell you about how you view life. Please do. You're very success oriented, hard work. You know, right, yeah, leaving fair. a legacy. Yeah. That's like your whole thing. Okay. And yours is sloth. <laughs> uh, hedonism. <laughs> the pursuit of joy <laughs> and comfort. Yes. Above all else. Yeah. <laughs> See, I knew we could do it. I know the names of some of the people who have been irritating my partner lately. Yes. Mm, yeah. I can list the relatives my partner likes the least. <laughs> yes. yes. You know what? Let's start naming them. <laughs> Prove it. Okay. I know that my partner knows me pretty well. Yes. Yep. I would say more than pretty well. 
Okay, continue. Part two, your romantic relationship. <sighs> Here we go. These are just still just yes and no. When we are apart, I often think fondly of my partner. Yes. Yes. I often touch or kiss my partner affectionately. Yes. yes. There is fire and passion in this relationship. Oh, I would say no. To be honest, yeah, not it's like, not. I don't. We're not fiery people. I know. There's. You don't have fire in you about anything. That's probably the problem. There it is, everyone. <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't know if I've ever seen you like. You fired often up. degrade and minimize <laughs> your partner. It's not a bad thing. You think that I have too much, like yeah, too many feelings. But yeah, but we don't have that in like. Yeah. Towards each other. That's true. We're not like, let's do the freaking movies. I know, I know. And have a date. Well, we're, just, we're just not volatile. We're so, like, just. Mm -hmm. Rounded. Yeah, I, I do Rounded feel like there's not a lot of, calm, like. We're calm people. We're calm, and we're yeah. calm together, and it's just, like. Even, all right, not to go over the top, but, like, even in our intimacy, we're not, like, like. Careful here. No, Careful no, no. Careful here with what you're about to I share. I just think we're very calm. Like, we yes. enjoy yes. the quiet closeness of it. Yes. Not like, we're not we're breaking, very much like, we're not breaking chandeliers. We love cuddling. Uh -huh. Yeah. We're not. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> See, it's a hard thing to talk about without being specific. Yes, it is. All right. <laughs> next one. Romance is definitely still part of our relationship. Yes. Yes. Our sex life is mostly satisfying. Mostly? Well, it's saying not, not everyone, not, you can't be 100% all the time. Yeah, no, you're right. It was just weird phrasing, yes. I know. Well, this is better than the freaking other quiz. Uh, you didn't answer there. I said yes. I, oh. I, I hit the button. Oh, well, they don't know that. I'm sorry. I'm hitting the buttons, everybody. They're all like, she didn't answer. Okay. Your friendship. This is part three. Uh, We're okay. done with that part. All right. No, there's six questions. My partner is one of my best friends. Yes. Yep. We just love talking to each other. Yes. Yes. There is lots of give and take. Both people have influence in our discussions. Yes. For sure. My it, uh, to a fault, I would say. We've, yeah. uh, we've mentioned this before, but like... like indecision? Well, we, we really have a hard time. Okay, when there's a decision to be made, I try to pick the option that I think will, Hannah will like. Yeah. And Hannah will do the opposite. Yes. For me. So neither of us wants to say what we want. Yeah. Because we're, we're just trying to yeah. figure out what the, it's. We like prioritize the others. And we're both like, just say it. What do you want? Just say it. Yeah. <laughs> and this is about like, what are we having for dinner? So <laughs> <laughs> the stakes are not high. All right. My partner listens respectfully, even when we disagree. <laughs> Well, we can say no. Remember, in the midst of a, a disagreement like, or an argument. Well, the thing, like, typically disagreeing, yes. Yeah. Like in every, you know, if in in normal, if you're like, I don't want to go here mm -hmm. or do this. Yeah. Yes. But if we're fighting about something, yeah. So I don't. We we have occasionally slipped into not listening respectfully. Being the best respectful listeners. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know if I should say yes or no because most of the time we don't fight a lot. Like No. I we mean, listen respectfully. Do you want me to say she no? She says hopefully. I don't care about this quiz. So oh, Shane. I don't see? <laughs> Shane has no <laughs> opinions about anything. Listen, I respect I that We you do listen that respectfully. I'm going to say yes. I hear you. And from now on, I vow that I will always listen respectfully. I honor... How you feel. Mm -hmm. And I love you passionately. Thank you. My partner is usually a great help as a problem solver. <laughs> yes, you are. I help. You do? Yeah, solve. no, no. I wasn't laughing. I was laughing because you've told me yes. I try to solve problems you, too much. You way over problem solve. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, my partner is glad to see me. We are together all day, yeah. but yes, I'm. Did you say no? I said yeah. Oh, I thought you said no. <laughs> it's to the point where like we have to consciously be like maybe let's take an hour or two yeah. to do separate things because we are never apart because we just won't if we don't like yeah. make ourselves do that I know I know we need to like run errands separately or something <laughs> alright we generally this is the part four your values Ah. we generally mesh well on basic values and goals in life yes yes my partner appreciates the things I do in this relationship. Yes. My partner generally likes my personality. Wow, I just told you I did. Yes. <laughs> so you can answer that very surely. 
My partner really respects me. Yes. yes. Continue. Unless I'm being bad. Get results. <laughs> Oh, I have to put my email in. Oh, no, you don't. Okay. I do. But you said yes to all no, of them. No, I need the results. I need the results. I need the results. The, whoever makes websites like this, Hannah is your target <laughs> audience. She cannot do this without seeing the results. Okay, everyone. I've gotten the results from our quiz in my email. Oh, good. It says, how well do you know your partner? Open to find out. The results are in. I hope they're shocking. Your score? You don't. 21 out of 22. We said we weren't passionate and fiery or whatever, uh, remember? So, okay. Um, so 15 or more, yes. So we we blew out the highest. The highest benchmark was 15 or more, and we got 21. In this, you should be at 15 and still be yes. like in a great Listen, relationship. Listen, your love map for your partner is strong. What the heck? Okay. <laughs> This is the got the core Gottman concept of love maps. The concept is simple. You and your partner should know each other intimately. Okay, knowing the little things about your partner's life creates a strong foundation for friend friendship and intimacy. Well, we really do. Your love map for your partner is strong. But okay. You have a fairly detailed map of your partner's everyday life, hopes, fears, and dreams. Try not to take this knowledge and understanding of each other for granted. Continue to set aside time for regu to regularly update your love maps for each other. Ask open-ended questions, tell stories, and let your partner in on not just memories of your past. Uh, excuse me, Dotman. My partner hates open-ended questions. I, that's not true. And we are out of stories. I think we've told every story from our past. <laughs> to each other, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. But also the details of your present and your hopes for the future. Want to learn? Oh, no, I don't want to click your link. <laughs> <laughs> it's shocking to me. <laughs> the thing that I found really about that is like, by their standard... 15 out of 22. Yeah. That's like two thirds <laughs> of agreement like, or yeah. knowledge. Yeah. You, could, you could not, Six of those we you could not like, know no. one third of my like, love map. Love map, and we'd still be fine. <laughs> At what point does it become an issue? <laughs> 12? Uh, it was like eight and below or something. Eight? I think that was the next. I think that was the one. It was at 14 to eight. Oh, eight to 14. Uh, is it is a pivotal time in your relationship. There are many strengths you can build upon, but there are also some weaknesses that need your attention. Uh, okay. Try learning more about your partner's inner world. <laughs> and then seven or fewer is there are opportunities for improvement in your relationship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It would have been really funny if we had like pretended the whole time to like purposely get like a, seven? a bad answer. Oh my God. Maybe April Fool's. We'll yeah, do that. that's a great. We'll, re we'll definitely remember that. Now that we've told them. <laughs> Keep idea. an eye out for it. <laughs> All right, everyone. Do you think our marriage? Take the quiz. It's good. Go to Gottman Institute and take their how well do you know each other quiz and let us know. I feel like it's good. Yes. I, I like wish we had a little bit more passion. I know. And fire. I need to figure out how to draw that out of you. Gottman's really got me thinking. Hey, I love you. I love you. Right. Oh, now we have it now today. Now we have it for today. Today. Take that marriage, y'all. Check off. that off our list. <sighs> Done for today. <laughs> we're in love. Okay. What? We're in love. Oh, we're in love. I was growling. I heard, I okay. heard the sound. The end of podcast. Bye, everyone. If you enjoyed this episode, please like, review, comment about your own love maps. <laughs> sounds so inappropriate. <laughs> uh, and what else do I normally say? I think that, I think that's it, right? My, yeah, you mean my end No, day. I know. I thought maybe I had more to say. Oh, I don't know. Review us. Thank you. Yes. Leave us a nice review. Thank you. Uh, and it is a junkyard out there. Uh, you had so much time. No, yeah, I was talking and thinking the whole time. Uh, oh, now we're being fired. Now we're fighting. I, I thought you were going to listen respectfully. <laughs> <laughs> It's a junkyard out there. It's a junkyard out there. And there are so many single people looking for love that if you've done these quizzes along with us and you're feeling like maybe your relationship is spiraling down the drain, just know that... Come to our junkyard. Take a wander through our junkyard and find yourself someone mm -hmm. that you can connect with on 22 out of 22 <laughs> of Gottman's 
most important values. I'm, I'm going to take a stroll through to see if I can get 22 with anyone. You 